In this video, we're going to be learning how to visualize neural network structures with MAN, specifically sequential neural networks. And a sequential neural network kind of goes something like this. Let's say we have an image and we want to detect whether or not there's a passenger on the road for our self-driving car hypothetical example. So the first thing we do is we kind of want to get all the pixels of this image into a single input layer. That's, that's going to be the input of our neural network algorithm or model. And we want it to output a, a probability or a detection of whether or not there's a passenger on the road. And the way we would connect these two layers is through something called hidden layers. So this model right here has one hidden layer with five neurons in it, in this hidden layer as well. And so pretty much what we do is we connect each of these pixels to each of these neurons, and then each of these neurons to this one output layer. Each of these lines represents a weight. And so let's take a look at how this works under the hood. And so each of these lines represents a certain weight that's a part of a certain weight matrix. Our neural network here is going to have two weight matrix, which represents the in-between connections between each layer. So we have three different layers. It's going to have two in-between connections. It's going to have two weight matrices. And this first weight matrix is going to be multiplied by the input pixels right here, add a bias term to that matrix vector multiplication, and you get an activation vector. That's what all these A1, A2, A3, A4, A1 is. So essentially that's what the A activation vector represents in our network. We kind of encapsulate all of that into a ReLU function, which is a special type of activation function used in hidden layers. And then, And then so we can encapsulate that into our Y prediction, which is just going to be the activation function of our previous activation vectors multiplied by the second weights add on a bias to that. Now, that's a lot of math right there. And you're probably not going to want to show the specific linear algebra to people. But what you can show is a visualization like this. And this right here definitely makes the most sense. So let's go code this visualization using Manum right now. So Manum doesn't officially have a neural network object, so which is why we need to implement our own. And in the description below, you can find a neural network.py file that I created. If you take a look at it, it's pretty much just a standard class with uh, all of its customizable features in a config dictionary, similar to the graph scenes we looked at for 3D and 2D graphing. And if you take a look, there are some methods that I, that I documented and commented. And most of this code was actually created by 3Blue and Brown. I'll link the original code in the description below, except I kind of had to decipher it and just document it and change some of the parameters just to make it um, like more usable and more generalizable. Like for example, I added the characters that are customizable here. And so to actually use this, what we would do is we just copy this class and then just paste it in here and boop, we have our class right here. And now to actually create this object, what we're going to do is we're going to create a network that's called my network. And we're going to create this as a neural network manum object. Now that came up for me because I've typed it in before, but yeah, this will be right here. And so if you if you remember our image, we had a image as our, if you remember our neural network from before, we had an image as an input layer. And let's say for example, we have a 100 by 100 pixeled image. That would mean 10,000 input neurons for every pixel there is. So we start out with 10,000 input neurons. And then we have five, activa five activation neurons in the hidden layer. And then we have one output neuron. So as you can see, the, the um, first and the, and the last index are going to be the input and the output layers. And anything in between is going to be considered a hidden layer with the number 
signifying how many um, neurons there are in there. So once we created this object, what we're going to do is we're going to say my network dot label label inputs. And let's just call them X, that's just pretty standard stuff. My network dot, okay, there we go. I was wondering why they're not putting. So we have technically three to four different uh, labeling methods. So we already label our inputs. Let's label our outputs. Um, we can also label them with LaTeX characters, so slash hat Y. So this is gonna do a Y hat in each of the output neurons. In our case, it'll be, there'll be one. So you buy network dot outputs text. And what this does is it kind of creates like a text label directly right of the neuron. So you'll see. So for our case, we kind of want to label it is, pe is pedestrian. So our output neuron is gonna be, it's actually not a detection, it's gonna be a prediction well, a prediction is in the detection like problem, but it's a prediction between zero and one hundred percent, and it'll tell us whether it's a pedestrian or not. So I'm actually going to scale this down twenty percent uh, because you'll you'll see in a second because we have a thousand input neurons, but yeah, you'll see what Manum does. So self dot play and we can do write or show creation. I'm just going to do write my network and we're going to do self dot wait. And before we run this, I also want to show you some customizable features. So uh, especially in the output neuron color and the hidden layer neuron color and the input neuron color. So this is your output, your input, and your hidden. By default, these will be maroon. I just have them. Uh, different colors here for this video but by default these will be white not maroon and you can adjust like the neuron radius the stroke width the, how, the maximum amount of neurons you want to show before you bracket and various different things and one thing I forgot to mention is um, for outputs text I made a mistake you want to create a list not a character and each string is going to correspond to each Y output. So you want to pass in a string, not just the character. So if we rerun this, much better. So now we have is prediction, we have our X, uh, we have our Y hat, and we have our hidden layer here. We can actually customize our hidden layers as well. Let's, let's do that. My network dot label hidden layers and it works with the same arguments as above, so let's just label them A for activations. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna export this as a screenshot. So as you can see, this is a much clearer uh, visualization for what we have for our neural network model. And I hope that you could probably use this within any of your projects or your show this to your boss or show it to someone to kind of clearly describe what you're coding and whatever language you use or whatever framework or API you use. But yeah, that's pretty much the video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more cool videos.